Hi, I'm Milton Rendell and welcome to Real News Friday. Uh, another busy week, certainly the recent trends are continuing. Um, on the sales side, certainly activity still happening. Um, on the leasing side, plenty of activity. Speaking to our commercial guys, uh, particularly to Mike the other day, saying that uh, his inquiry for uh, properties in and around the Midland area for, for businesses certainly is on the improve. So some very positive signs for the immediate area being Midland, uh, right up to the hills. Speaking of the hills, the hills guys are telling me that they are extremely busy um, and I know there's been a number of contracts secured in the last week and a half, so well under the team up there. Um, but overall, we're still seeing this movement of inquiry that uh, has been fairly consistent for some time. Now, sales in West Australia, up 11% last week. 916 sales, that's a big figure. Um, that's certainly above uh, probably what I was personally thinking, but certainly a positive trend. But having said that, we're into spring, um, and as I mentioned before, spring tends to be a busier time. Um, house sales overall were up 2%, uh, unit sales were up 19%, land sales were up 48%. Um, that sort of contributes to all those figures. Stock levels, 10,624. That's, um, that's down in houses and land about 2%. Um, and basically uh, down uh, about 1% uh, on four weeks ago and, 20, uh, and certainly down 23 to 25% on a year ago. Now, rentals, I've mentioned that already. That continues to be a very busy part of our world at the moment as well. Uh, rental numbers down to stock level in West Australia, 3,123. Down 12% on four weeks ago and down 53% on 12 months ago. So. Obviously, indications are that we've certainly got some positive things starting to occur in our local economy. Interesting talk, um, BHP and Woodside uh, talking about only employing people who live in West Australia, and uh, that's that, now there's talk of another 8,000 families that probably have to move to West Australia to accommodate that. So that certainly be a nice shot in the arm. Um, probably not the best way to sort of analyse it, but obviously COVID has helped us in that regard. Uh, it's probably the only positive that's come out of COVID. Um, but talking to businesses in general, I'm hearing a lot of good positive um, signals. We're seeing, certainly seeing it in an inquiry rate. Also read during the week that there has been a steady increase in people applying for loans um, throughout Australia, up apparently around about 8% on the previous month. So things are happening through the economy. Um, It'll be interesting once we see Melbourne, um, which appears to be starting to improve in terms of COVID, how that impacts the rest of Australia and impacts our economy. But the West Australian economy continues to go against probably most trends throughout the world, and we're doing quite well. Anyway, the, probably the last thing to finish on, I, this, today we pick up the keys for the for the new building, that being the Catalyst building, and uh, we'll have the tenants moving in over the next week or so. So uh, if you're in the area, you'll start to see far more activity around the Catalyst building. Uh, far, far, obviously a few lights on at night, more lights on at night as the tenants move in. Uh, we're over a third um, uh, applications in for over a third of the of building already, and we've only just picked up the keys. Uh, we expect that to continue to grow and that has been very, very strong and consistent. So uh, in the next couple of months, so uh, certainly pop by and have a look. And we'll be moving down to our new office, probably aiming in about two weeks time. Worst case three, three. we're pretty excited about that. Uh, be right in the hub of Midland. Um, in the meantime, if you know anything about real estate, check out realestateplus.com.au.